Everyone was affected by the war. Every corner of the world was touched. The human spirit drove us to fight where no one had dared to go before. Whether it was the mountains of the Alps or the skies above, we found a way. They said this would be the war to end all wars. But I wonder if there will ever be an end to human ambition and our will to destroy. Are you all right? We're ready for you to cut the cake. Wow, these are incredible. Yes, it was uh, an incredible time. <laughs> you looked very handsome in that uniform. That's not me, that's Matteo. Oh, of course. I'm sorry, Dad, take as long as you need. No, no, it's okay, Tesoro. It's time I told you what happened to him. It was during our last battle together, just a few days after our 21st birthday. My brother's battalion had been ordered to capture a fort deep into enemy territory. I wasn't going with him. I was part of a special unit with a different mission. Our task was to support Matteo's battalion. Proud unit. We changed the war for Italy. The Arditi. Hola Vittoria! O tutti accoppati! Cannone! While Matteo was pushing forward, I had to fight up the mountain and take out anything targeting his unit. Just hearing this story makes me worry for you. Don't worry. I was in a full suit of armor. Besides, the Aditi were proud volunteers. We would have done anything for Italy. A church was sitting at the base of the path. Enemy troops had fortified it. I had to fight them first.
that was left after the fleeing troops were some foot soldiers. After that, the church would be ours. There was an artillery gun that was shelling us and Mateo's unit. I had to destroy it. And he was still heading to the fort? Right. I had to make sure he got there. Italian offensive was in danger as long as that artillery gun remained, so I had to take it down.
sure that my men were safe was to blow up the gun itself. was one of the sweetest sights of the war for me. But there was no rest. I could see an anti-aircraft gun over the next ridge that was taking out our planes. And that was my next target. Controlliamo l'orizzonte! Non lasciamoci cogliere di sorpresa! The gun was manned by Austro-Hungarian troops. I had to remove them before I could use the gun myself. <laughs> The first few went down, they started targeting me. I had to stand my ground.
still safe behind your armor? Of course, of course. Nothing could dent it. But then the planes veered away. When I got up, I thought I had died and gone to hell. They blew up the mountain. They buried us. They buried themselves. Oh, God. Mateo. I had to find him. So I went down into that hell. It was my only choice. I had to find Matteo. He could have been anywhere. First thing that came through the fog. There were allies pinned inside lodges. I needed to save them. saw them. Armored vehicles coming from the enemy fort. But you didn't have your equipment anymore. There were crates of enemy weapons in the lodges that we scavenged and prepared ourselves with.
through sheer force of will, we took out their firepower. The lodges were safe, and I had to move on. You never said, was Mateo in those lodges? No. The men said his unit had made it further up. go through the underground tunnels or above ground by circling around the back. Not through the front? I no longer had my armor. It was impossible. Come <laughs> on. 
No, Matteo wasn't there. I still think about that field, every day. I'd almost stopped looking, started giving in to the hope that Matteo had escaped. And then... No! No! He never got older. And here I am, still. Who decides such things? We came from all over the world, the innocent, the arrogant, and the brave. We thought the war was to be our rite of passage, a grand adventure that would make us all equal in our quest for glory. But instead of adventure, we found fear. And in war, the only true equalizer is death. Frederick Bishop? Oh, God. Hey, 
Are you Frederick Bishop? Nope. He's dead, sorry. <laughs> but uh, isn't this your picture? I suppose so. Jack Foster. I I'm your new charge. No, you're not. You have to take this kid off me. <laughs> of course not. He came all this way just to see you. Frederick Bishop, the pride of Australia. Even lied about his age to get past conscription. You know Morse code? Yes. Follow me! Disaster. Our first wave didn't stand a chance. Look at all their defenses. How can we take the beach? We have the dreadnoughts this time. Plug your ears, kid. It's gonna be loud. Send these coordinates. You're going. With you. Level your gun. Ah! Yeah, okay, you're staying here. And you will move up with rear command only after I fire the signal flare. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Try to stay out of trouble. Have to get to the top of the beach.
Push towards that overlook. Send up the flare. Fucking kidding me. Come with me. Yeah. Look! Look at that, huh? Kid, you lied your way to hell on earth! I just... You just wanted a statue of yourself in your town square. I think I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna die. No, you're not. You're Australian. We're impossible to kill. Yeah. I guess so. Unless. Not Kiwi, are you? <laughs> no. Now. First things first. Yeah, come on, stand up. Follow me. I'm in here. Just arm out. Butt into your shoulder. That's it. Cheek against the butt. All right, that's it. Point it where you want to shoot. That's it. Okay. Get your feet apart a little bit. I was beginning to think I already lost my Australians. Not you, the boy. We need a runner for the front lines. Really? No. Yes. No. You can't make the kid do it. He'll just stumble into a firefight and get killed. No, no, no. I can do it. No. I'll do it. Fine. You're here with me, and you, you will be running.
shit. I need to get back to Whitehall. didn't. <laughs> sure fucking didn't. <laughs> nice shot. Oh, well, you know, I just kind of saw him out there and I... <clears throat> you got falling lines across the board. <sighs> That's what I thought. Bishop, go tell rear command that we'll be moving up. Hey, don't worry. I can handle myself here. Head down. Got up. No open areas. Got it? Got it. Gotta get to rear command. For those who didn't hear from a runner, the Allied position is lost. Artillery fire ordered to cover retreat to beach, shelling the village and outlying forts. Shit! Foster! <laughs> Fucking Brits, shelling their own position to cover a retreat.
Save it, Bishop. Help, Help us here first. This is the enemy. Ah! Prepare yourself. Oh, oh, God. Tell the village in the fort to cover us. We need to get out now. I, I sent men up to secure the fort. A dead man. Who went? Only those who volunteered. So naturally, all of them. Fucking kids. Well, you remember being his age, Foster. Fuck. I gotta get that kid. Go. I'll pretend I didn't see you. This isn't on you. Of course it is. One more death for me to live with. Go, go, you don't have much time. Storming a fort by myself, and I called Foster an idiot. to this damn place.
Again? You sure you didn't just want to shoot me? Come on. Let's get you out of here. This place is about to come down any moment. Uh, we can't leave. There's still hostiles coming, and we can't outrun them without wounded. You get going then. I'll cover your retreat. The bishop is still. I'll make it look like I'm capturing the fort. It'll be enough distraction. Once you get past Allied lines, send up a flare. Let me know you're safe. I'll make my retreat then. I'll oh, say so you're disobeying orders now. Well, I assume you did to come here. Come here. Yeah. You're a proper Aussie now. Gotta look the part. Right. Up and at him, lads. Let's go. Sailor gear.
Keep this up. 